Okay, so I thought I would do a bit of a follow-up video on the uh, repair for the tracker here. See how it's holding up. I actually haven't really inspected it since this moment. So we're going to take a look at it together here. So let's see. So there's the sleeves. This is the set of sleeves I made for this uh, horizontal piece here that uh, connects to the uh, north-south pivot. And everything looks good and seems to be tight there. And then if we look down this tube here, I can't really get a good view, but I can see that there are, you can only see one of the sleeves, but everything seems to be tight. And the, uh, seems to be no play in it. So it looks like that repair is holding up pretty well. One thing I did notice in the wind the other day is how much there was for play at this pivot point. So if I, so you can see just how much movement there is. So I think the next thing is gonna have to be focused on that pivot point. Um, maybe shoring that up a little bit. I'm not sure exactly where most of that movement is. I might have to take it apart and look inside at the bar here and see if that uh, hole that this pin goes through has uh, deformed any. And uh, probably would be a good idea to get a washer on this guy as well. Um, the other thing I've done here just to kind of mitigate a little bit of the wind issue, you'll notice that this is not sitting, if I can get far enough back so you can see it, it's not sitting flat. Now the wind generally comes from the west, southwest, so you know, that direction. And uh, so I've got it so that it aims just slightly to the west when it sets flat, because I've uh, noticed when it sets flat, fully flat in the wind, it just generates too much of an oscillation. And when you uh, pitch it a little bit west, it actually doesn't uh, oscillate quite as much. Um, and I'm still presenting a pretty small uh, surface area to the wind, but with it uh, angled slightly to the west, it does less of that oscillation in the wind. So uh, I'm gonna do that. And the other thing, of course, is I'm eventually gonna figure out what to do as far as dampening. And I'm thinking I'm probably gonna to try to get some kind of fairly long linear damper. And instead of attaching it to this portion, I will attach it to the center post, and then I'll create some kind of a cross piece here to have a, an attachment point centered so I don't have to worry about it, it uh, uh, when it tilts. Uh, so I'll just put a pivot point and it should work pretty well. We'll see how that goes. Um, I haven't found a good source for um, a linear damper. I haven't, I haven't looked a lot, but I've done a little bit of looking around, so anybody knows a good uh, solution for that, feel free to leave a suggestion in the comments. But uh, so far, this repair seems okay. Um, and I'm still uh, looking to sure up the, uh, the rest of it a little bit to... Uh, be good in the wind. But as I've said before, this is not a very robust tracker. This is not really meant for windy environment. And this is a windy environment. So um, unfortunately, uh, it's not really the right place for this. If you've got a, an area where there's no wind and you want to put one of these up, it's probably fine. And as one commenter mentioned uh, previously, they just received theirs and uh, it now comes with these sleeves that I made. So they're now including similar type sleeves in their uh, kit when they send this out. So uh, that's good, good to hear because obviously it made a difference uh, here. So uh, looks like I'm also vindicated that uh, they think I'm, uh, I'm doing the right thing to make this stronger. So at any rate, um, Next uh, step on this is probably the linear damper and I'll uh, let you know where we go from there.